Hello and welcome back here to the channel. We are staring down the hill or the chute of Road Atlanta at the back of a S14. Because this is going to be the first episode of this week's Driver Spotlight. We are going to be doing a whole week of Driver Spotlights leading up to round one of FD this weekend. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So let's get to it. So we are taking a look at this S14 by Jamie Healy. If I pronounce your last name wrong, I apologize. He sent it over. This is his 2021 ESDA competition car. And, you know, there's a lot of S chassis in ESDA, but there's not many 14s. There's a lot of 15s and stuff like that. So it's definitely cool to see this car. Definitely love the lightning bolt and tribal style livery. Looks like we got, you know, a very cool color scheme with the red, the blue, and everything like that. And this car has some gorgeous looking wheels on it. Haven't actually seen those wheels on any car other than this so far. So, of course, we got to give some credit where credit is due. There is a note in here about a big thanks to that guy, Nirvana. So if you guys know, Nirvana has been around a while. And he's been on a few of my videos and back when I was in, you know, usual suspects. So... Base model of this car was done by AC Workshop, Oh My Hoodness, the BCL Wing, Jay's Garage, and the physics were done by VDC Chris Witowski. If I pronounce any of you guys' names wrong, I do apologize if I butchered it. So this car is definitely a fun looking 14. Definitely has a very different sound to it, and I'm very excited. So we are going to be going full send here on Road Atlanta because, well, round one Road Atlanta. Let's go full send on Road Atlanta here. So we got the wheel cam turned down. We're going to back up because we're going to have to go into the burnout box and warm up these tires on this bad boy, which I'm going to have to turn my uh, tire indicator. No, nope, I closed it. I want my tire indicator on. So definitely been running a lot more stuff with tire indicators, so I have that. So we're going to heat up these tires because these tires are dead cold because the car's been sitting on the line. First thing I noticed just in burnout box with this car this car has very snappy transition just in doing this so it's something i want to be mindful of but of course it is vdc physics which definitely coincides with the snappiness man we probably gonna run out of gas before we actually get these tires warmed up yep there's the gas light so we're at least gonna get one run before we have to go to pit north atlanta definitely not an easy track to accomplish with this entry so we're gonna try and see what we can do Kind of do a nice easy kind of roll in a little easy roll in we kind of got the entry not the greatest but you know first run out in a new car that i've never driven downshift in the fourth kind of missed that outer zone coming into that clip we got that though we're just taking out that cone kind of bringing it back into that front clip quick troll quick transition a little bit of understeer so for a first run out not a bad run because, like I said, these driver spotlights are definitely challenging me to drive all these different styles of cars, and I definitely love doing them. So if you guys want to be part of driver spotlight, you know, do message me on Instagram and or in Discord with information about your car, and we can get you a driver spotlight. But like I said, this is the first of the week of driver spotlights leading up to round one of FD. Super excited. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen this season here in FD. So we need to get some more gas, so we're going to go another full send, and you know we're going to end this at Urbandale, where we end all of these driver spotlights, but I wanted to bring it to Road Atlanta. Definitely been having some fun with some new cars I'm working on on Road Atlanta and other tracks I've never been able to drive before. So, full send, try to get a better initiation this time. Ooh. I think it's so much power. Oh, and there's that snap I was talking about. Yeah, we're just going to finish that run out. That was a bad. That would have been a wreck. person behind me would have smacked into me. Oh, we're able to get out to that zone, then. Kind of floating this thing on full lock. This car, once you get, get it to where you need it to go, it kind of just hangs. And it's definitely a very solid car. Probably shouldn't be right there, but we got enough gas to do one more run. <laughs> so, got to get this entry down. This... this Transition, you know, this snappy transition of this car is definitely something I gotta get used to. And, you know, that's why I love, like I said, I love doing these driver spotlights. So, big thank you to Jamie Haley for giving me access to his S14 and allowing me to rip it here in today's spotlight. This 
here. Let's try to get another better flick. Oh, doctor. Dang, if we would have started that earlier. Oh, I think we would have popped the tire. If I would have started that a little bit earlier, it probably would have worked out better. But unfortunately, a little too much sauce. Road Atlanta, like I said, is a very tough course. I used to be good at this car, this course in Forza when I was, you know, trying to compete in ESDA and all that stuff. But here in Assetto, this is a different monster. It's not as easy as it was in other games. So, and of course, you know, cars that I'm not used to is another factor. Do a lazy entry. A little bit of a lazy entry, but an entry nonetheless. See if we can get all the way up out to this outer zone. It did kind of a, a little lax, but we're gonna try to not pull the e-brake coming into this transition. High angle, snip back, and there's that high snap. <laughs> that gets me every time. The VDC physics are very snappy, and you know, a lot of people can handle them and it's, I'm just not one of them right now. I don't drive the VDC style cars enough, but I think I'm going to start trying to broaden my horizons into more snappier transitioning cars, you know, into more comp style. So we're going to give one more run here and then we're going to go to Irwindale where we always end this off. Oh, this car has no lift. Oh, we're in the grass. I mean... For going in the grass, that was actually a very decent entry. <laughs> Surprisingly. The car does have no lift shift, it appears, or I just broke the gearbox. One of those two. It appears it does have no lift. Yeah, it's got no lift shift. Oh, or a form of it. So we can take this car to Irwindale and see what we can do on the bank of Irwindale. So I'll catch you guys when we grow up. Once again, we are here at Irwindale. Once again, a big thank you to Jamie Haley. Like I said, if I butchered your name, I do apologize. But a big thank you to you for giving me access to this amazing S14. Definitely love the styling of it with the cutout trunk. I see a radium fuel cell back there. And it's definitely a clean car. So, Irwindale. We love it, we hate it, always end it here because when you get the bank runs right, it's an amazing time. So we're gonna see what we can do and hopefully we don't over snap on that inner clip with the way this car transitions. I feel like this car's gonna be fifth gear all the way on the bank. Oh man, yep, quick snappy transition. No handbrake, massage it up to the wall, a little bit of left foot brake there. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wall tap. David, no. Ah, oh, if it wasn't for that wall tap, that would have been great. Man, that was almost... That had the makings of a great run. A quick, snappy initiation into the bank. Hard flick. All power. No handbrake, no brake. Just snapped it in. Kind of went where it needed to. Massaged it up to the wall. So let's see if we can do that again. All right, we're gonna try it one more time. See if we can do that exact same thing again. A little bit lazier of an entry, but a little mid to high bank massaging it up. Let's try not to smack the wall this time. Transition there, off throttle transition. Dragging winglet across the wall. A little bit of a correction because of that. But overall, not a bad run to so run this wall. Before we run out of gas. So this car is definitely a lot of fun and uh, super excited that I got a chance to drive this 14. We're gonna go one more full, full on send lap with trying to do a hard flick entry in the 14. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. I appreciate you guys coming back. Hope you guys are excited for FD this weekend. I know I am and my family is and we're all ready for it. So, we've been doing more driver spotlights all week, pro cars on pro tracks, and of course, Irwindale. And, you know, it's just leading up to the start of the FD season. Tries to hold shift. 
little too much of a send, but we managed to somehow hold that. Don't ask me how. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of course up. Once again, a big thank you to Jamie Haley for access to his ESDA 14 as I wrecked it. Sorry, dude. I do apologize for that. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.